So today I am going to talk about the margins and the ugly reality behind owning a magic store and just give you some numbers, right? Just give you straight up numbers. Uh, since Dominaire United, uh, Dominaire United, if you are wise, you can actually go to Best Buy or a Target or a Walmart and you can compare Neon Dynasty or Dominaire United, uh, you know, draft for draft, set for set. And you will notice that there is a price difference between Dominaire United and the older packs. So Brighter's War obviously is the same price as Dominaire United, but that is itself a higher price point than New Campana or let's say Neon Dynasty, right? Those are two examples. Or uh, Crimson Vow. God forbid anyone needed more Crimson Vow, right? So the there has been a a system where as a game store owner, you realize that, you know, from secret layers to magic 30th to direct sales to consumers, right? They do not want you as a game store, you know, to like make money. So I'll just put it very simple. I can't, I don't think I can put it more um, blatantly than that. The magic, the gathering, the people running the business, the, uh, the warriors, if you will, running the social justice warriors, running the business, they do not want your local game store to make money. They want them to sell it at a loss, eat the loss, and then be happy with the, the you know, the lost sandwich they're eating. And I've seen this from Dominaria United, especially because again, we are in a recession, sales are down, money's tight, cash flow's tight. They raise the MSRP, which does have a lot of you, but oh, well, that doesn't mean, no, it does have effect. That means your distributor is charging you more money. And you're like, oh, Tony, what? So like what I buy most of my product in sleeved. So it's slightly different, but I'm just going to tell you, I pay 250 for a draft in a draft. There are 36 packs. So I'm paying 36 times 272 plus six plus 18, 90. I'm paying exactly $90 for a box of draft, which is much more expensive than Neon Dynasty, even though Neon Dynasty, I believe, is a more as a better set in terms of value if you're opening and you're looking for value. Now, um, for a set, which I have a lot of, for a set, I pay $93, or $3.10 a pack times 30 packs, $93. Right, there's less packs in the set box than there is in the draft, 30 versus 36. Now for a collector that often sells for, you know, online for $29.99 as, you know, the collector display, now it's more, I think it's $34.99 starting for Dominaire United, I pay $12 to $15 depending on if it's Dominaire United. So I've been paying a lot more from Dominaire United, and I, I'm not happy with that because the sales have gone, so sales, no matter what Wizard Coast does, at least for me, have gone down. So Dominaire United is not exactly a hot selling product for me, and neither is Brothers War. They're not bad product, don't get me wrong, this isn't Dragon Maze, they're not bad products, they're just not like outperforming the new Compenna or the, um, uh, Neon Dynasty, which was a very popular set. That was a very popular set, and that was at the old price point for me. So, um, we have a problem, and you can probably take a guess what the problem is. The problem is you cannot make, they are, like, their your margins are non-existent if you carry Magic the Gathering. You, there is no way you're making money from Magic the Gathering sealed at today's, now, if you have a community and they're willing to, and, and they definitely know, they know they are paying more than they can pay on Amazon. They know they can buy it cheaper online from a store that's really a distributor, right? <laughs> um, there's a lot of distributors who pretend that they're stores. A lot of them. I mean, I, I mean I, like, yeah, I don't wanna name them because maybe, they're, you know, maybe down the road I need them. But there's a lot of distributors pretending they're stores and they're selling at distribution cost. I think Sports and More was the famous one that they were actually undercutting themselves by like 15% every time just to get like their name out there, right? Just, it's kind of, I think they did it as a promotional tool. So um, we have a situation where no store can actually make money from selling steel boxes if their customers are price conscious. 
if the price, if the customer cares about the extra 10 or $15 that they would be paying for the store, they can get it cheaper online somewhere else. i have just point blank tell you that. Uh, Cause those are your margin. You're, many times you don't even have more, you have negative margins, um, but sometimes you have okay margins upon release or, you know, very, you know, like when the set is still hot, but at this point in time, you know, it's cash flow. It's a lot of difficult issues to talk about because it's not really fun to talk about losing money. But I think it's like, I think like somebody's got to do talk about it. Like some, I meant most stores don't even have YouTube channels. I mean, just point blank say that. And I have, I've been looking on YouTube because I, I want to kind of relate. And also, you know, it's kind of like this, like lost porn, right? Like you got to go, Hey, they lost money too. I lost money. It's like, well, the reason I lost back or breaks is those efforts get like massacred. You know, they, they spend $10,000 on domes and then they might get like a hundred dollar card. And it's like a Jason Kidd auto. And they're like, wow, what a Jason Kidd auto. Like, no, my idiot, you said like, you spent $10,000 on this dome. You got Jason Kidd auto. Anyway, yeah, I noticed no game store owners talking about it. Like the margins, there's like another one. There's an, a guy on uh, YouTube, his name's RNG Games, I believe. And I watched his videos and he's right. Like he's got his family working for free. He's putting the cards in the machine and overnight. Guy's a hard worker, but he can tell you that margins are not very high. <laughs> that the margins and you know, the, the money that you're making per box you open, there are boxes you open and you're gonna lose money on them. And the, the only way to get past that is you gotta open enough boxes that it averages out for like a net positive, maybe two free dollars. And what he does, what he did was he opened boxes and then he sells these singles on TCG player. That's a way to do it. But I bet you he understands that when the box costs more money because the MS, the distributor now charges you more money for Brothers War than it did for Neon Dynasty. Uh, but the singles don't sell for, I mean, better. I mean, again, ne uh, Brothers Wars are a little weird, but because he's got these uh, uh, serialized number cards and they're, they're like really good sellers, but they're very volatile. Um, and anyone who collects sports cards will know that the volatility of, you know, numbered cards um, is much, much higher than like a base rookie or something. Anyway, I'm just whining because I feel like the, I don't know how any game store just selling magic cards and let's say most of their sales is sealed is going to make money. I don't know if any game store can survive to be quite honest with you for 2023. Hi guys.